Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to append to a file in Linux. So um, th this is relatively simple and I have a few examples here in our document. You know, if you want to look at this document and like copy and paste from it or whatever, you can just find the link to this in the description of the video. But um, yeah, let's just jump into it and show you how some of these uh, examples might work. All right, so I have some stuff in this directory. Um, I'm just going to clear it out. There we go. Nice clean directory now. Um, so we, the, the, the key thing here, let, let me just zoom in on this document before I actually copy paste these over. So the key thing here is to use, um, is, uh, like, like a, a single, um, greater than sign is going to overwrite the file. Whereas the, uh, whereas, uh, where two of them is going to append the file. So today we're, uh, I'm showing you how to append to a file. But it's worth knowing the difference between appending and overwriting. So, for example, you could say echo this is a test over a file. Let's just call it test1.txt. All right, so that's going to write to the file. So, th this is the contents of it right now. Now, you could run that again, run that as many times as you want. And that file is still going to have that same test because we're overwriting the file each time. So one greater than sign is, is basically just going to redirect everything into that file. All your output from the echo command or, or whatever command you're running is just going to get echoed to that file. Or is just going to be, get overwritten to that file. Now, um, essentially you can do this. It, it, this will take the output of any command, not just the echo command. But... Um, if you wanted to append to the file, you instead of using one, you can use two of them like this. Run that. And now let's check the contents of the file. Now we have two lines. Now we can run it again and again and again. Now check the file. Notice it has a whole bunch of lines because we're not overwriting the file now. Now we're actually just appending to the file. And we could append something completely different. You know, we, we could add something like this, just some garbage data like that check the file and there we go we have some stuff appended to the file so that's how you append to a file now you could also it doesn't have to be the echo command you could you could say uname a now if we check the contents of the file you see all the stuff we previously previously wrote to the file plus uh, uname a the output from the uname a command now you could also say um, Let's just say ls-l. Now the output of the ls-l command is going to get appended to the file. And um, let's let's try the output of the ps command. Now let's check the contents of that file. Now we'll notice it has all the stuff we wrote to it before. It has um, the output from the uname command and the output from the ls command, which didn't show us a whole lot and the output from the ps command so all of that's been appended to that file now you may want to append multiple lines to a file so you, you can do that like this you can say cat greater than greater than um, the file name and then hit enter now anything you type you can type multiple lines you could say um, this is a multi-line test starting on a new line here and again right say something like that and that then hit control d or rather yeah there, there we go control d now let's check the contents of that file now here we go it says this is a multi-line it has a C, it still has all that other stuff that we wrote to it, but then it has this multi-line thing that we added. This is a multi-line test starting on a new line here and again. So it has all of that stuff appended to the end of the file. So that's how you would append a multi-line string to a file on the command line. So hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting, if nothing else. You might want to give me a thumbs up. Um, you might want to hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon up. Otherwise, uh, YouTube's probably not gonna let you know when we come out with a new video. 
Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up, on, and we've actually, if you want to check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff, um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking, all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment that for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.